Hey, this is John out of Wausau, Wisconsin. You're watching Trucking with Josh on TJV. Stay tuned. Good day, everybody. Once again, dressed in my Sunday best. Ready to unload this steel that we got behind us. There's uh, three of us here waiting to get unloaded. Uh, all the same type of steel from the same place, uh, going to the same place here. So we're just waiting for them to come and give us a guide into the site. We're not allowed to drive in there on our own. These oil sands uh, here in Northern Alberta are huge, ginormous, but you know, one cool thing about oil sands that I've noticed on the way up here is when they're done with a section of land and they've got all the oil out of it, they actually reclaim it. That's what they call it. They level it out and, uh, well, here's my guy. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. But they, they pretty much turn it back into a forest that's even better than it was before because they took all the toxic stuff out of the soil, right? We'll talk about it a little bit later. My guy's here. We got to follow him in. I'm not gonna need these for a little while. We can uh, oh, relax and have a nap. So there's three of us here, like I said, right? They can only bring two guys into the site at a time. <laughs> so uh, I gotta get left behind all by myself. They're a little speedier than me. They got here a few minutes before me, so. Gotta be honest and say I was the third guy and they gotta wait. So they're gonna bring these guys into the site, unload them. Once they're done, they're gonna come back, get me, bring me in and unload me. But he said it'll probably be a couple of hours. So guess I can put the cool glasses on again for a little while longer. So we were talking about how they reclaim, reclaim oil sand lands here. I sort of did some research into it and I saw it firsthand as I was driving up here. So what they'll do is they have these huge like oil sands, like all this over here is all cleared. It's just massive, right? And they're digging out all the uh, the tar sands and they make, you know, get oil out of it. And uh, it's, it's a lot of money sitting in the soil, a lot of money. And they pull out what they need. And uh, afterwards, once they're done and they have everything out of the area that they need, what they do is they cover it back up with nice fertile soil again and they plant a new forest and studies have actually shown that the wildlife in these reclaimed forests thrive better than ever before and they're actually healthier and more in numbers because all of those toxic things that we pulled out of the soil that we needed are now gone and we just left the good stuff for them right so it's actually better than it was when we got here so we got our energy needs served and the animals have a better habitat at the end of it it's actually a beautiful thing. Everybody benefits. It is kind of a dirty industry though. That's why you have these uh, protesters and environmentalists that always come up here and try to protest the oil sands because yeah, it's, it's a stinky, dirty industry while we're getting the soil cleaned of all the stuff that well, well when we're taking out what we need, right? And it looks messy. A lot of forest gets cleared originally for it. So the habitat is, you know, disrupted. That's true. But at the end of it, when we have what we need out of it, it's actually a better habitat than it was before. My neighbor is just gonna go get unloaded there. It's too bad that I gotta wait. There they go. Good for you guys. Must be nice. They were just a little earlier than me. You remember I said that this morning, uh, this place was a little further out of town than I thought it was? If it was where I thought it was, then uh, I would have been here way before them. Just saying. But I was still on time. It's just that uh, they can only take in two people at a time, so. There he goes over there. Look at him go. And poor old trucker Josh is left here all alone. Twiddling my thumbs. 
couple of hours, he said. Diesel, what are we going to do? I think I'm just going to sleep. Sleeping's my favorite. I love sleeping. So like I was saying, I saw this firsthand, this reclamation process, right? So on the way up here, they had signs saying reclaimed, like this forest reclaimed in 1983 and this forest in the process of being reclaimed. I'm hoping to get some footage of it on the way out of here later for you guys, but it was pretty cool to see. You could tell which forest had been reclaimed because it was so much fuller and healthier looking than all of the other forests, natural forests on the way up here, right? And they didn't plant the trees all in straight lines either. I hate that when they say, oh, hey, we planted this forest. And then you walk through it and you're like, no, this is obviously man-made. No, it's like a regular forest. I guess they just spread the seeds around, and let it naturally grow. I don't know. But it was pretty cool because uh, where they said it was reclaimed, it was just a lush, full forest. And then you get to the next section and it says, in the process of being reclaimed. And then you can see them leveling everything out, making everything ready to plant new trees huge areas and then eventually you know the forest is going to be replanted everything's going to regrow and it'll be just as full and lush as the other reclaimed forest and then we got past that into these oil fields here now where they're currently working so it was interesting to see how they can transform it back and make it better than it was before remember that talk i was i was sort of giving you when i was in my garage about a month ago or so uh, when you find something and you or you need to do something and you come to an area always leave it better than you found it and you know the alberta oil sands do a good job of that they leave the habitat in a better condition than when they found it for the most part i can't speak for everything i'm generalizing here because i don't know the ins and outs of everything but i've looked into it and i've seen it firsthand now there's no reason to protest the canadian oil sands i would actually like more oil to come from here because at least we take care of our environment and restore it back to better than it was before whereas other places around the world it, it just destroys the entire area you know canada does a really good job at uh protecting our our habitat up here not the best but a lot better than most places that's why they always say that we have a much more sustainable energy sector up here than other parts of the world. Anyways, enough of that. I'm bored. I'm already bored. It's only been three minutes. Diesel, you want to play Dutch Blitz or something? They had a very strict no camera policy, so... For some reason, they got something against you guys. I couldn't take you in there, but we're empty and unloaded and on our way out. In uh, 200 meters, turn left on Highway 63. Thanks, Karen. So we're gonna go and uh, pick up a reload now in Blue Ridge, Alberta. It's a load of lumber. I th I'm pretty sure it's a lumber yard, but uh, it sounds like I'm gonna have to tarp it. And it's going to Rogers, Minnesota. It says they want it on Monday or Tuesday, but I could easily be there like Thursday. So I'm gonna make some phone calls, use my superior persuasion trucker Josh skills. Kilometer, turn left on Highway 63. Thanks, Karen. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get this unloaded Friday morning. Because um, our roof is getting redone at home next week monday tuesday wednesday maybe thursday and i wanted to be home for at least a little bit of that I'm just curious i want to watch them do it uh sunday i'm supposed to be going golfing with my cousins and uh tuesday i've got a dentist appointment turn left on highway 63 didn't you just tell me that karen you don't need to repeat yourself okay don't repeat mandy's mistakes I'll throw you out the window too Serious? Don't give me lip. See, so I gotta see if I can get unloaded earlier. I don't know why they'd only want it there next week, but uh, it's lumber, right? Usually they can accept it whenever you get there. But we shall see. So I'm not sure if you can see it over there or not from my head cam, but uh, this is that land that's being reclaimed off to the left right now. leveling it out and uh, planting a new forest there soon and then that forest up on the hill behind it there that was reclaimed in 1983 according to the signs so that's what this is going to look like eventually 
I guess they got all the the oil and stuff out of the tar sands and ready to turn it back into a wild forest. I think there's going to be a sign here that says that this is reclaimed forest here. I'm not too sure where it would be, but it's like all this. All right back to the way it used to be, even better. Oh yeah, there's the sign just off camera. It's reclaimed 1983. It's pretty neat the way they can do that. So Blue Ridge, where we gotta pick up our reload, is about six hours away. Uh, so we'll get there tonight and I have uh, an appointment to load at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Still gonna have to see if I can get unloaded Friday. I really don't want to deliver it on Monday. I'd really like to be home. We'll see what happens. I mean, I could deliver Tuesday. They said Monday or Tuesday. But then I missed the whole roof, you know, like the, the whole job of getting the roof done. I, I can't really help them at all. I don't have to be there, but I wanted to be there to watch them because I'm very curious how they're gonna do it. We're taking the shingles off our roof and we're replacing it with a metal roof. A guy I know named Dan, uh, he owns the company that's doing it and uh, looking forward to getting it done. We'll have a five-year warranty on it, no more leaking roof. And I know he's gonna do a great job. Anybody need a few tires? This guy's got a few tires for you. Put those things on your pickup. Yee yee. <laughs> Yippee, as they'd say. That'll get you some attention. If you really need to compensate that much. Of course, this guy should have stayed in that lane. There we go. So we've just left Fort McMurray. Uh, we'll be getting, I think I'm gonna go to White Court uh, and stay at the Flying J there. I can have a shower then. We'll be getting there around what looks like 10 o'clock tonight. And then uh, 8 a.m. I've gotta be loading about 20 minutes down the road from there in Blue Ridge. So we found ourselves a pretty good parking spot. Not by ourselves, but in a quiet area of the parking lot anyways. 
And it's now time to uh, get ready for bed. So first thing I do when I get ready for bed is I move all of my stuff in my big blue bag. Move it up to the front onto the driver's seat. I leave that on my on this side of the bed so that Diesel doesn't lay on this side so that because uh, he sheds a bit and I don't want any hair on my side where my head is. That's where my head goes. Uh, but just in case, uh, for any hair that he did shed on the bed, I vacuum every night before I put my mattress down. I've already vacuumed it once, but that was for your benefit and uh, just to get the last extra little hairs out there. All right, let's tilt you up a little bit there so you can see what I'm doing. And this is my mattress. It's a memory foam mattress. I have it rolled up every night up there. All I do is I put it down here, unhook it. I put the hooks here, somewhere to put them. Roll it out and voila, I got a nice comfy bed right there. And then of course I need my pillow. So I put my pillow down there. And I put my blanket down here. And then we're all ready for dreamland. Just like this. So thanks everybody for watching today. Once again, if you uh, feel that my videos should be recommended to others. I rely on you guys to recommend it to others. So if you want to, go ahead and share on your social media. If not, give it a thumbs up. That helps the algorithms a bit. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, hi, my name is Jeff. This is Duncan. And this is Bella. And we're from Springfield, Massachusetts. And we watch Trucker Josh Vlogs.